Hello and welcome back to another video. Today it is PSGL round 12 at Brazil. Um, going into this round, we are uh, Barry Boroman actually pulled out the league, uh, so we're looking to take P2 in the championship to make it a Mercedes 1 2 uh, in the Drivers' Championship, and we can take the um, the Constructors' Championship this race if we both perform well. Um, so yeah, looking for a good result as we um in the background is about to start my first Q1 run. Um going into this race I actually switched pedals onto Heisenveld Ultimate Pluses. Uh so I going into this I knew my consistency was gonna be quite off and I wasn't gonna be properly on the pace, but yeah, I was still knew that if everything goes right, do a good strategy, uh, we can still get a good result here. Because um, it's quite a more of the, one of the more simple tracks um, to drive on this game. But anyway, uh, in the background, as I said, it's my Q1 run. Um, pretty smooth, just not really pushing the limits, just doing the lap I need to do to get through. Um, and hopefully only doing it on one lap, which would be ideal. Uh, so yeah, let's see, it's just through the fast left now. 8-8, um, eight, eight, uh, eight, 6 split, pretty good. But then running wide and get a big snap of oversteer. <laughs> but this should be still pretty comfortable to get us through. Um, because yeah, pace is still not too bad on these pedals. Um, so you see here, I just saved tyres and errors, so I got like, oh no I won't, oh no, never mind. That's, uh, I wanted to go for another, but I didn't have uh, P8 in the end, uh, which comfortably saw us through. Um, just did what we had to do, and Ooh. yeah, uh, this is actually my Q2 run, um, uh, 6.33, so like a really slight improvement on my Q1 Ooh. run, but yeah, I was kind of hoping for a bit of a better lap yeah. than that, to be honest. Well, at least it's now and not in the middle of the race. And, uh, yeah, this is now my the end of the session, my Q3, uh, Q2 lap. Uh, so that I actually really do need this lap to get through to Q3. You see, coming through turn one, locking the inside front a little bit, and then missing the curve a little bit. But, yeah, this isn't really where the tyres are going to come in uh, too handy, as I say. Oh yeah, because the first one I forgot was actually on used tyres, so... But then completely oh missing God. that, there's like a okay, tenth, tenth and a bit gone there, to be honest. And now we're 800 stand and P10. Um, um, this lap surely is not looking good enough to see us through into Q3. Uh, it's come through the long left. This is where we're going to gain the time on the mechanical grip. As you see, just gaining a bit more back. Clipping the inside nicely, accelerating out, and now into the final corner. Clipping the inside up to fifth, getting a good exit, and that should see us through. I <laughs> uh, see it into P11, so it wouldn't have been enough to get us through into Q3 if we didn't get this lap at the end here together. Uh, only P8 in the end, but <laughs> it was enough to. That was the worst lap I have ever <laughs> done in my life. That was enough to get through, and now this is our fastest lap in qualifying three. Uh, I skipped through it all because, yeah, there's no point. So into turn one, just after the 50, breaking down into third gear, and then clipping the inside curbs nicely, and then accelerating out. But a bit under the limit, but yeah, that's what you need to do. You can't go full commitment. Uh, when you got one lap to do it, so 391 first, that's pretty good uh, for what I was doing. Um, out the little bit of oversteer, this is gonna harm us now for the rest of the lap, but yeah, into the fast right uphill, good commitment, and then into the downhill section, just getting it all hooked up nicely. A bit wide, but you can get away with it. Liam sets a 104, good lap from him, uh, and now into the Hairpin taking too much inside curve, but still getting good traction. And it's been a solid lap, so solid lap so far. Six four six into the last, and we've missed the last corner of it. And that was cars everywhere. 
that was not a very good last corner at all. Completely missed the inside curb. And you see how much yeah. we lost everyone else. But up to the line, is it going to be pole? It's provisional pole for the moment. And at this point, I wanted to keep pushing, see if I can improve again. Because I didn't think that was going to be enough pole, but I ended up invalidating. Um, so yeah, by this mm, point, I did I not think this was enough for pole. Uh, but as we skip to the end of the session, it actually was enough for pole in head of, ahead of Wilson Hughes and Liam Parnell. So yeah, first race on the new pedals and first pole position in PSGL. So um, yeah, and the, if you're wondering the reason why Yano isn't up there is because he actually had um, stream issues, so he wasn't really focusing on qualifying, just focusing on how to fix his stream. So that's why he wasn't up the top there. But anyway, into the race now, starting from pole in the Brazilian Grand Prix, looking for a first on-track win in PSL as it's lights out and away we go. First initial stage wasn't very good, but second stage we got good traction and I was really didn't know how to really start because uh, <laughs> these pedals are very different to the ones I've been using. So, you know, it was a bit nervy off the start, but... And that's just perfect, but then a safety car oh, comes out, you mad. and uh, okay, that could have been perfect for us because we could have possibly built a gap. Um, but yeah, that was a safety car, and so it's ending now. As I think I had a different delta because Wilson was able to stay within like three tenths of me through the whole lap, but then he ends up getting a drive through. He was about a tenth over through. the delta, um, I think, somewhere around that. Um, so yeah, that's unfortunate for him. That's going to leave him pretty much out of the race now. Um, and I'm actually going to try build a gap, build the biggest gap that I can. But the issue with it is we are starting lap three next time around, and that's when DRS comes alive. And if I would have had that extra lap to maybe build a gap, I possibly could have done it. But yeah, it wasn't meant to be. Um, you see, here, Wilson is going to get DRS on the next straight. As I'm still pushing for it, but yeah, I knew he was on a bit lower wings as he pits and time and re takes over. We did use a bit of ERS, but yeah. But at this point, I'm pretty sure the pace is very strong because um, if you look behind, uh, we are comfortably putting away from the medium to soft runners. Uh, and that is what we need to do so they can't be in this race. Um, but now time is six, no, six no, times behind. Um, I actually wanted to let him go. As you see it. Uh, just let him go. You want to recharge my battery. Because you don't need to lead every lap. Uh, you just need to lead the last lap. Um, so yeah. This race so far is sort of going to plan. But yeah. It would have been nice to break out the DRS. If the safety card didn't come out. Uh, but now as we stick up onto lap 9. Daniela had that. Just worked his way into P3. And now we're going side so three wide but Daniela backs out as you'll see later in the video that is uh so it's someone else should have done but uh anyway uh time and we're not actually trying to attack time but we're gonna go to the outside here just to cover ourselves from Haddad carry the speed and we're safe from Haddad behind. No need to use the RS here because it's quite a well, it's a really like, you don't really overtake there. Um, but yeah, we're now safe in the North Sector. Um, behind Diamond, uh, who's doing a really good job. Uh, I think it's... Yeah, he's moved cars into Red Bull, so he's doing a really good job. Um, yeah, as I see, yeah, he's str now starting to struggle with his tyres, and now I thought, uh, as well as Ben, my engineer, that... We're going to go for an undercut because he's clearly struggling two temps behind him. Um, let's put you slightly here, Ben, there. Box, box. So we're going to come into the pits last minute. Uh, spotting the breaking point. Pretty bad, but yeah. Didn't do loads of practice, so I didn't really know what where I was breaking mm -hmm. for that. Um, but we're going to come out in lots of clear air, so that is the main thing. Um... You see it, literally no one around, uh, so that is very good for us. Okay, you only have to stop once now. Uh, let's see, coming out of the pits, getting the inside, 
wheel bouncing around because I actually run force feedback. Um, and now out the pits, um, past the sector split, and struggling with a bit understeer here actually, but yeah, we should do more than enough to break out the DRS, yeah. and it's just a case of if we have the raw speed yet, and the consistency on these new pedals to maybe stay out of the DRS of the guys behind, if we were to break out of it on the pit stops. <clears throat> They will have uh, slightly better tyres, but I do back myself more in the race than Quali. Um, although in the last three races it clearly hasn't shown that it's been the complete opposite. But um, yeah, um, so it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting one. Um, you see, Liam Parnell pits um, oh, yeah. for a new set of mediums like us. And you see it coming down the main street. Um, into turn one, we've already passed him. We're going to be comfortably clear by around, I think it's 1.92 seconds, if I remember correctly. Uh, around there, I think. <laughs> Might not be. Um, yeah, 2.1. Um, but now Matthias and Time and Pitt. Um, Bresne and Donoso are the only ones to stand out. Um, but yeah, had had Time and. and Matthias all pit, so and we have got the gap, the gap we need um, to hopefully control this race uh, to the end. But <clears throat> as you will see, uh, had I'd started clawing that gap in, I just didn't have the raw speed to be honest. Um, yeah, he's gonna get in because I'll get held up here. Uh, so he's gonna get in because I'll get held up. Um, but yeah, I wasn't dro I was actually quite surprised on the pace to be honest. Um I was a little bit more consistent than I thought I would be. But yeah, nowhere near quite where I want to be at the moment. Um But yeah, it'll come with practice and time. As if we can get into Wilson's DRS and make her dad not get in ours, then we will have an easy three, four attempts down the straight, and that is pretty nice to have just opening up the gap a bit without using the RS. But I thought Wilson was actually working with Timon and Matthias, so you see he's burning. Uh, we're going to burn as well, but he actually ends up hitting. Oh. So you see, I say oh, because I was surprised. I thought he was going to try to hold us up. But um, yeah, in the end, uh, had I just see 1.1 behind now. And this is getting a little bit close to comfort. Um, if we have the pace, this is when we need to show it. Um, but yeah, it's looking unlikely we're going to be able to keep him out. The DRS behind. I see it now. Nine temps. He's in our DRS, and but we're in DRS of Duncan. So yeah, uh, yep. not ideal, but yeah, it, the pace will slowly start to come back to us. Um, Hope it. After I do more laps. Um, but you see it. Had that now, we're actually going to have to fight for it. Uh, fight for this win. Uh, but I've, if you told me that I would be fighting for the win in PCL, uh, first race um, on the new pedals, uh, I would take that every day. <clears throat> so yeah, but now we've got Time and Matthias who actually got past her dad. I don't know what happened to her dad actually, but yeah, Time and Matthias. Um, time is going to go for us. We're going to be safe, surely, from behind. But Matthias ends up sending it and just... Yeah. There's the Dutch dive bomb. <laughs> There's a Dutch dive bomb. I'm not really sure what Matthias is doing. Um, he doesn't really care, Jeez. so he's uh, just going to oh, dive bomb everywhere. God, as I'm trying to be as respectful as possible, even though he pushed me off. Uh, just leaving as much space as possible. Because uh, I don't like just shoving people off. I try to be as clean as possible. Although sometimes shoving people off is sort of in the rules. You're allowed to at points. Uh, but now Matthias is coming back as again. And Timon and Matthias are both Jesus. working together against me. So this is going to be hard as we go into turn one. Three wide. We're having to leave as much room as possible for Timon. Matthias goes down our outside and he's just just spun us out and yeah it's just 
that's not really. I don't know really what to say to it. To be honest, it's not on. I don't think in my opinion. Just, oh, we're. Oh. Uh, it's just dirty driving straight up. Um, but yeah, don't go spreading hate to Matthias. Uh, it's racing. It happens. It's a bit My annoying. God, man. But I can't. Like, it's I happened can't now. Asked. I got them literally double teaming to kill me. It happened now, and you just gotta move on and accept it. It's gonna make us a little bit hard to get harder to get P2 in the championship now because we're literally fighting over one point People now. Can't even win a race by themselves anyway. But I'm still salty. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, so it's Matthias and Tymon who are leading the train now, looking for a win. With Danny Bresne right behind and Haddad. But yeah, we still want to get this point, um, hopefully, but there's nothing we can really do here. Uh, Alessio is much faster on his soft tyres. <sighs> As we let him go. Uh, that's Duncan actually, we let Duncan go, he pitted later and he's, he's in a pretty good race to be fair, considering where he pitted. Um, but yeah, again, it's not ideal where I want to be fighting for wins, I know I've got the pace to fight for wins consistently, but... Yeah, it's not ideal. But, yeah. I mean, everyone's flashing ahead, so... When stuff like that happens, and same as WR, Jeddah, just battle. getting taken out due to just people just being way too aggressive and who's this yeah Alpha? it's just a bit annoying but it happens oh my god but now we've still got p8 to fight for here as yost tino alessio and duncan are all just going side by side <coughs> as ben said i think alessio gets damaged here we back out of it no point um and we're going to easily get past Alessio here. Um, he doesn't defend. Oh, well, he actually goes into the pits, I think. Yeah, yeah he does. Because he actually had damage. So now, starting lap 33. Oh, my God. I'm getting increasingly frustrated because Wilson wants to get on the back of these guys. He's got fresher tyres and us, and he really wants to get this last point. So it's fair play for him. Sends up the inside. We leave space. And... Uh, it's actually fair racing right now. Fair racing. Who would have thought? Uh, into this. I don't know. I've gone Ooh. to Narnia. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, <laughs> a bit terrible. Got it. And that's what I was saying. A bit of inconsistency on the brake pedal. As Wilson's trying to go around the outside. But I kind of knew as long as I keep the inside. That's not going to work. Again, just leaving a little bit of space on the curb for him. Uh... Not really wanting to take him out or oh, have no, an at least get a point. Uh, so at least want to get a point. Uh, so that would be good if I can, hopefully. <laughs> As we're about to come on to start the final lap of this race. Been quite an eventful one, to say the least. <laughs> um, but yeah, not one I, not an eventful one I wanted to uh, wanted to end on, but. Yeah. As we fade to the inside, Wilson just sticks his nose in. Lads, like, can we not? And I'm getting even more frustrated. But yeah, Wilson just wants to get this last point, like, which seriously? is fair enough. Uh, fair enough from his point. As I'm really salty at this point, so I, I'm just yeah, I've lost the plot. Has everyone just like forgot how to drive this race or something? I uh, don't say that. <laughs> Looks like it. Anyway. Has everyone forgot to drive uh, this race? That's just uh, the salt streaming out um, from not being able to fight for the win anymore. Um, so yeah, now through the middle sector for the final time. I thought I might have been able to put a fight onto the guys ahead, but it ended up like the tyres actually do not drop off around Brazil. Uh, so it wasn't meant to be in the end. So we are going to come across the line in P10, which believe it or not is enough. Well, thank God that's over. To clinch the they didn't even win as oh my god oh my god it is actually enough to clinch the title in the end uh in the constructors with Janos and Yano got the drivers so it's a perfect result except from the actual result in this race um so yeah 
not ideal, but it happens and we got to move on. Um, Imola next, uh, which I'm not really going to be practicing too much for. I've got other things on at the moment, so yeah. That's all from me, and I will see you in Imola. Cheers.